Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the topic of doppelganger. So what's doppelganger? Let's break it down by little pieces. So so there's the meaning of the twins. So it's like exact same thing. A good person and a bad person, similar situation. They fight each other. For example, like Harry Potter. It's a doppelganger, like where he sees himself as a mirror and he's fighting himself because there's a... He's a wizard, right? As a symbol, Harry Potter plays doppelganger because there's a good side and bad side of him. And the apple battle is that when... The person dies that one person dies that's when they shut others down that's an example of doppelganger so um also the protagonist warring against one another it sees the negative in the self through um doppelganger as protagonist is like at war with them themselves so they fight themselves you know you know like hurt themselves or like they just like when they're mad they just want to punch the wall as a sample um another thing about doppelganger that is that only one survive and giving up this battle or it's like for example J joker gives up fighting because batman um hurts him you know batman doesn't want to cross his boundaries you know um so yeah so when i was reading about the um the batman killing joke um storybook it was really good i do recommend you guys to read it and the ending it's like i see like where like batman doesn't kill joker because like the way in the ending of the book, it doesn't make sense. I feel like it's just like a timing frame. Like I feel like in different version of it, like the reading the material, it's like, you know, like there's predictions where you think that Joker is a bad person, but Batman's a good person. But it just depends how it's told the story narr narrative of the novel, of the comics, you know, there's a different version of it. So when I was reading about like Batman and Killing Joke, to me, it didn't make sense. I don't know why Batman didn't kill Joker, you know? I feel like they might have to meet at a certain point when they're ready to fight for another battle. And it doesn't, like, make sense, you know? To me, as a doppelganger, is like, you know, there's someone that looks like you in a way. Like, for example, like the Venom, you know, plays two parts of the character and they wear different suit color. But that's a similar story. And the example of doppelganger is that someone might look like you. In public place like they it's like identical twins but you guys have similar storyline um where it plays a part of your different like you try to like meet them but you guys don't relate it's like i have a different personal lie or characteristic of who i am who you describe yourself the reality of the world you know so yeah um doppelganger can be like a visual it can be like someone that you see that's evil, but it doesn't mean that they're evil. They can be good and bad. There's pros and cons of being a doppelganger. So yeah. So yeah, so doppelganger, this is what it's about. I'm just talking about it. I look at it as doppelganger as comics. You see in movies, you see in a lot of like different genres, you know. Um, if you Google doppelganger, it tells you, explain to you more on Google. So if you want to learn more about the doppelganger and the way how the argument it's not it doesn't like prove like who's good who's bad like there's pros and cons answer in your opinion so yeah i hope you guys understand what's doppelganger now thank you